No, I'm not having this. Hey, come on. Oh, give us a break, sir. I didn't get to bed till three. If you want to waste your time, that's fine by me, but don't go wasting any more of mine. Now get out there and get that van cleared. Well, can I get a cup of coffee first? No, you can't. Oh, come on. You can't because you and your pop star mates drank it all last night. Oh, big deal. And you let all the way to Vic score. Right, it's all right. From now on, we both do our own shopping, right? <laughs> I suppose you use the old loaf for those buddies. It was my loaf, wasn't it? Oh, you're not serious, are you, about separate food? Yeah. Ow! I don't believe this. It's like being a student again. Yeah, well, you're acting like a student, aren't you? Flattering around with fans at your age. What do you mean, my age? Oh, come on, Ted. Give us a buddy. Hey, get off them. They're mine. They're... We're not going to be back until late again. She's going out on a job with you. Well, I'm not going to do it on my own, am I? Look, 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 look. Purvo Collins is at it again. He's going to blow us up. No. Not even a pellet like him would do that to a next-door neighbour, would he? He's married to a magistrate, isn't he? Oh, you're here, are you? I see you've all the butties, then. Yeah. Uh, is he charging you storage for all this? Of course not. Friends and mate. She's not my mate. Well, what's the matter with you, anyway? What's the matter with me? I'll tell you what's the matter with me. We were late because of you and your mates this morning, and the fella gave us down the bank so he'd never use us again. Well, he's just trying it on. He probably didn't have any other jobs anyway. Hasn't he? He had three jobs for us from today to the end of the week. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. All right. You've cost us the best part of a hundred quid. Uh, maybe I should start putting the stuff back in the van. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? I've promised to take the gear around to where they rehearse. How much for? I've told you already, friends and mate, all right. And how much did Fran pay you for last night? 20 quid, right? There you go, is that all right with you? What do you do all this philosophy and... Hey, hang on a minute. And now you're just about to swan off round the town with the petrol that we bought. You just listen here, you. Hang on a minute, Pat. We'll pay for the petrol. No, we won't pay for the petrol. I own half of that van, right? I'm Terry's partner, not you. Well, you don't act like it, do you? You haven't lifted a finger for weeks. Well, I'm going out on a job now. Oh, what, for the band? Yeah. Well, that isn't a job, is it? It's your hobby and it's costing us money. We'll pay up. Hey, I'm talking about cash here, not a quickie behind the drum kit. Hey, you, I don't have to listen to this. I should dump you for that money. Wait. All right, then go on. Pack it in the period. Look, this is dead simple. We can't afford to subsidise your van, right? So he doesn't do any more running around for you until he gets paid up front. When you pay him, he can pay us and take your stuff wherever you like. Until then, it stays here, OK? I'm going. No, no, hang on, Fred, hang on. No, it's not OK. Since when did you have the right to say how we do things in this house? Since Terry asked me to come and live here, that's when. What? He asked me to come and live here. Well, that's the first I've heard of it, mate. No, it isn't. I've been talking about it for weeks. Yeah, well, I thought that was all talk, didn't I? I didn't think you were serious about it. Oh, don't talk soft. I think I'd better be going. No, you're not. You stay there and hang on a minute. It looks like you two have got an awful lot to sort out between you. Well, thanks a lot, mate. You know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to end up as a gooseberry, aren't I? I've been playing Gooseby ever since I moved in here. Pat and Sandra, Pat and Andrea, Pat and Apple. Well, now it's Pat and Fran, no, isn't it? No, it's not Pat and Fran. Well, it soon will be. Look, I'm not soft and neither are they. If one of them cops off at you, that means them saving an endless amount of money. Yeah, well, I'm not soft either, so it's not going to happen, all right? Well, then Vicky can move in, can't she? No. You? Why not? Because she's taken over, that's why. Look how she's taken over the van, I She isn't taking over. She's been doing your job and she's been doing a good job and all. Oh, she'll want to be a partner next, won't she? She won't. Look, I've told you she does a good job and she's brilliant with the boots. Just listen to yourself, Terry. She's got you like that. As she, she's taking you for a ride. Well, everybody takes me for a ride, don't they? Rather there than you. What's that supposed to mean then, eh? It means I've been running around after you like a divvy for months. Well, I've had enough. I said I'd have the stuff over there for 8.30. I mean, the van's standing outside doing nothing. We might as well do it. No, you might as well do it. It's your hobby. I don't ask you to clean my football boots, do I? If you want to start taking this business seriously, that's fine by me. But I want to get myself sorted out and start making some money. It's cool. Oh, look, God, what do you want? Some old furniture shifting or something? I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Well, go on, what? My dad rang the DHSS today and said you were earning money without declaring it. He what? What for? He thinks Pat ran over the dog. But I told him! So did I. What are we going to do now? We're going to make him wish he kept his bloody mouth shut, that's what. Oh, that's great, Dad, isn't it? That is going to solve everything. Yeah, well, it's going to make me feel better for a start. Hey! You know what that means, don't you? If the social catch up with us now after all this time, we're going to go to jail. <laughs>